I like cumin. It makes things taste like chili. Shing. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a first impressions for you. And I've got a bunch of products here. Most of these are from Fenty. I actually got a whole bunch of stuff from Fenty recently. Specifically, I wanted to try this palette here, which is the Moroccan Spice. This palette is truly stunning. Love the packaging. I like the way the shadows look, but I'm gonna be real, 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 real for a moment. The packaging gets me more than the, the eyeshadows inside. And this is the inside of the palette, and I am gonna have some fun with these colors today. I'm gonna be trying some other products from Fenty that I have not tried yet, some of the new releases. These are all of the cheek duos that I have, and I've only tried maybe half of these, so I feel like I need to play with these. And I wanna try some stuff from Milk Makeup, I'm ready, so if you guys have not yet, you guys should subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, this month, specifically for the next couple of weeks, uh, you may be getting a little less frequent uploads. I'm gonna talk about this more, I think, in the future, but as you guys know, if you guys saw my last video, I am going to LA for a week and a half, almost two weeks. So I'm having to pre-film a whole bunch for when I leave. I'm gonna try not to miss very many uploads. I may miss one or two, um, but I'm gonna do my absolute best to get as many up as possible. But just so you guys know, instead of uploading three days a week, it may be two days a week while I'm gone, but you're still gonna see me. So other than that, make sure you guys follow me on all my other social media stuff, like Instagram and Twitter. I upload to those far more often than YouTube and put up a lot of updates. So if you guys are ever wanting to know where I am or when an upload's coming or even if you don't care about that and you just wanna see me bitch about stuff or you wanna see my cats on Instagram stories, understandable, definitely go follow there. And let's jump into full face first impressions. This is the Fenty Pro Filter eyeshadow primer, but it doesn't seem to block out the color of my eyelids at all. So I'll put it on. I think this is new, but it's basically, the consistency of this reminds me of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you can see it really doesn't block out the color of my eye. It really just leads a sticky base down. I feel like this is gonna drive me nuts because it's not gonna block out enough color for me. So I am gonna prime my eyelids with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. You can see this blocks out the color of my you know, redness and discoloration and veins and stuff, but that Fenty one is just clear, sort of. So it's not gonna give me a nice base to show off their beautiful eyeshadows. Honestly, this color is so pretty. I wanna use this. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's a really pretty, like, it's like a sand color with a green duochrome shift. It's really, really, really nice, but I can't, I can't think to what color I would use that with. My eye shoots to this shade right here, just to be like a really good to pair with that color. And then maybe um, uh, maybe this guy down here, maybe this guy, I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a try. So I am gonna start off with this shade. And if I am correct, this is the shade come and get it, but it's spelled like cumin get it, or like the way you spell come and get it, but not in a, I don't know. I don't like the way it's spelled. I don't like what's happening here. So I'm gonna call it cumin get it. I like cumin. It makes things taste like chili. All right, I'm gonna dip into that. This is, from what I understand, the first Fenty Beauty matte shade that I will have tried. Please be good, please. Oh, this is the first Fenty eyeshadow I've tried, I think, because I am trying to think, and the other eyeshadow palette that released, I never picked up. Hmm, okay. So definitely, Pax Pigment. It's a very soft shadow. Gosh, the, the the texture of the shadow almost reminds me of Urban Decay. Very, very fine. It almost, this is gonna sound really, really, really odd. It almost feels like, not eyeshadow, but like if you took cocoa powder and pressed it down because of how fine it is. You know, like, like you stick your finger into like cocoa powder. I don't know if that makes sense at all, how it's like so fine and soft, like baby powder almost, like how it's so, so, so fine. This feels like really, 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 I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say fine one more fucking time. Christy God, get enough, get enough. I've had enough. I feel like it's blending okay. Maybe I just brought it up a little high or maybe I just, I don't know. I do feel like it's not patchy. I would not call it as patchy necessarily. I have no, friggin' clue what kind of eye look I'm doing tonight. So I'm just gonna fuck around with it and see how it goes. I am cussy in this video and I am sorry. I have tried to get better, but I have just, the stressedier I get, the cussedier I get. I've said the F word a few times today. My skin is looking as textured as it's ever looked. 
I don't know why. Well, actually I do know why, because I literally haven't done skincare in weeks. I haven't washed my face other than in the shower. The eyeshadow so far blending out okay. I do feel like they're a little clingy in certain areas, just a little bit clingy. It's not like massive or anything, but I do notice that I am struggling a little bit to get like a seamless blend. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Like I'm just, I'm really, really going at it. I'm not saying this is subculture, but it's almost like subculture's older sophisticated sister, but she still has a little bit of sass in her and she's still got some issues, but she's definitely growing out of them and she's trying her best. She's doing a good job. I wanna use this gray color, but I feel like that would be such a mistake. But I feel like making mistakes right now would be fun. That's the color. Shisha smoke. Shisha sh I can't. <laughs> shisha smoke. I wanna say shisha smoke. We're going cool toned with this eye. It's kind of a weird combo for me to add this color, but I'm just feeling it. Oh, I kind of like it. This is a big brush for this. I should switch to a smaller brush, but shoulda, coulda, wanna. I like that. <laughs> I haven't used gray in a long time. Do I like it or do I loathe it? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I like I do. I don't I haven't done this in a really long time in my YouTube videos. I don't remember the last time. Certainly wasn't my last video. I'm gonna do something called a cut crease. And it might be a new technique. You guys probably have never seen it before. I kind of invented it. Sorry. I do so many of these that they're becoming so fast for me to do. When I first started doing these, they would take me forever, but really just practice. If you guys struggle with cut crease at all, I'm telling you, just practice, 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 and you will get so much better because when I first started doing these, I, was, I would sit here for like 20 minutes and perfect each little section of my cut crease, but now that, I, I mean, this I've been doing this for maybe the last like one minute, and we're already done with both eyes, so. Just definitely keep practicing at every aspect of your life. If you feel like you're not getting it, keep trying. I have faith in you. And I believe in you. All right, let's go in with that one fun, one fun color. I feel drunk. I'm not drunk. I wish I was drunk. All right, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Casablanca with a dollar sign as the S. I don't know if a brush is necessarily the best for this, but. Mm, I'm gonna try a finger because that is lackluster. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's fun. Wish you guys could see it better. Stupid fucking camera can never pick up how cool things are. I take my brush and sort of tap over the edges to make sure that kind of going up to the top up. It's not gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and I think I'm gonna dip into this shade here, which is Henna C. It's not just me being stupid when I say that, it's this, Henna C. And I'm gonna mix that with that gray shade. I'm just gonna kind of pat over the edges. I like the way this looks so far. I think I do wanna take oh, a hint of this shade here, which is Marrakush. And I'm gonna kinda, Oh yeah, that was a good choice, Christy, good choice. But for right now, I think that looks kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely, it doesn't look like all that green on camera, but in person it definitely has like a limey shift to it. It's so interesting. So far, I actually think those are really pretty. I'm excited to try this one on my, on my eye. Oh, 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 oh. That's beautiful. I'm gonna use a new pair of lashes today, 
And I think I'm gonna use maybe these. These look kind of pretty. They look really big, but I also don't care. These are the Marilyn lashes from Icon. And I think I wanna try these. I don't know, maybe. Do you think, do you think they'll be good? I'm going to apply them off camera real quick. I'll do something fun on the lower lash line with the other Fenty colors, just so you guys aren't like, bitch, really? BRB, I'm gonna put the lashes on. I'll let you know when I come back if they are hard to apply or not. I'm assuming they will be because when I applied the ones the other day from Icon, they were so uncomfortable. So I'll let you know about these ones. Okay, so I need to show you guys this. So I went to go remove these lashes from the case and I went to go peel them off and I'm always very careful with my lashes. And look what happened. Just like so many hairs just ripped out of the very last one of these. So quality wise, I don't know what the food, but that's never a good sign. I, I could only imagine these are gonna be so, like, look at this, that's so bad. Okay, so this is another thing I wanna mention about Icon Lashes, which you may not have this be as big of a problem, but for you, like, oh wow, beautiful, it's a beautiful lash, but look at this. The amount I have to trim off this lash is insane. Like, to make this fit my eye, I'm gonna have to cut off almost this much, which is a lot to have to remove from a lash. It's just almost like a waste of lash because the prettiest part of the lash is that outer portion and then you're just cutting it all off. So it's a little disappointing. There's something about this brand lashes. Now like these are stunning. I really, really like them. They're fluffy and they really, they really are beautiful. However, I feel like there is a quality control issue possibly with these. With both lashes, I cut the exact same amount off, but I feel like this lash is definitely shorter and this one is longer and I like the way this one looks so much better. They don't almost look like the same eyelash. I don't know if you can see what I'm saying, but like, I don't know, dude, they're pretty, but they just look different. Like this one is like less long and less dense. I just discovered that these lashes are mink, so I would not recommend them. I don't tend to ever use mink lashes. I just don't like the whole practice of it. So um, I, I, I don't like these lashes anyway, regardless of that, which I always tell brands when they're gonna send lashes to please send synthetic. These in general, just they're, while they are beautiful, Coco lashes are equally as beautiful. Um, all the other lashes that I like that are synthetic are equally as beautiful. I'm just gonna stick to what I know and love, and that is these are Honestly, certainly not worth $30 because I struggle with them even when I didn't know the price or anything. I don't hate them or anything. I just, they're not my favorite by any means. I just found that I think the band is a little bit too thick and the fact that the lashes started falling out immediately is a huge no-go specifically for the price. Lashes in general should last you many, many uses and I just don't feel like these are the case. So anyway, moving on. I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. For foundation, I actually think I wanna try this. So Milk Makeup sent over a bunch of different stuff. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. And I don't know what it claims. Oh, it's a matte foundation. Well, fantastic. You know how much I love those. But I'm gonna give this a try today and see. I don't know if this color is right for me at all. Oh my God. It is running all the way down my chest. Yuck, dude. It like separated out and it's like, that whatever clear liquid that they mix with the foundation is not mixed into the product. And it just squirted, it just literally went all down my chest. Oh God. It's just in such a weird container to shake, you know? Oh God, that felt so hideous. Is it better now? Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? the grossest feeling. It's like the clear liquid that squirts out when you squirt mustard. All right, you better be good this time. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, wowie owie wowie oh, this has a lot of coverage. I was expecting it to be kind of sheer coverage. It smells like citrus. It smells very similar to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the shade light. Are you fucking kidding me with this? God, I, I don't know. Am I stupid here? Should I be squirting this on the back of my hand? Yeah, dude, it's so liquidy. Ew, and look, even though I shook it a whole bunch, I don't know if you can see this. It's like, look at this. I shook this so much and it's just like separated. I just think this is the wrong kind of container for this foundation. It looks really pretty when I'm applying it right here. 
I don't know how it wears or anything. The coverage is really nice and it smells really nice. But God, it's like so thin. But right away, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my face and just kind of go, but what the shit? Like, I'm gonna shake this more. I'm gonna really squeeze the tube quite a lot and like make sure that I'm doing everything correctly because I feel like, am I screwing this up? Yeah, I guess I was. Okay, you just have to really mix it. Really, really, really mix it. Definitely squirt it out too much on my hand. Wow, it is so friggin' high coverage. Look at this. Okay, well, be careful if you squirt too much out because I have this much left on my hand and you really can't suck it back up in the tube. Like once it's out, it's out. So it's kind of a waste. All right, and I have the concealer as well. This is how the packaging comes, by the way. It comes in like this tube. I don't know how necessary that is. It seems a little wasteful, but I wonder if the concealer is the same where I need to like shake it. This is the Flex Concealer. This is the shade Fair. It looks like it's gonna be too dark. Oh, it's in a wand. Oh. Oh, 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 so it's like this. Is that too fair? Um, I actually don't think that's too light. It's a really interesting packaging being a doe foot applicator in a squeeze tube package. I've never seen this used before. I don't know if this is new, if I'm just late to the bandwagon on this or what. Both of these, upon initial application, I'm very surprised that I'm not hearing of these more because this looks, it looks really nice. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. Is this new? Concealer is high coverage. It's kind of luminous. The foundation is matte, but not too matte. The coverage is fantastic. What alternate universe am I in? All right, well, since we're having such good luck so far, I'm gonna try this and see, maybe this is good too. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Baked. And I think I saw Sam talk about these. I've never used these before, but she, I think, said these are one of her faves. So I am super stoked to give this a try. Cause you guys know I'm loving cream products right now, so. Oh, oh, it glides on so much better than it looks like it's going to. It, it looks like it's going to be so stiff in here because of the bulky packaging, but it's really buttery glidey. Oh wow, way more buttery glide than I thought. And this is actually a very cool toned color that I would say would even best suit for contour over bronze, but milk coming in hot. Wow, that color is literally perfect for fair skin for contouring and the texture is so easily blended. The finish is nice and luminous and not overly pigmented to where it gives you that like harsh edge. What? It's so minimal that you can layer it up if you want a little bit more. It's not overly so. I just am, I am so pleasantly surprised. It's a very, very light shade. Look at that natural cheekbone truly blown away right now. I could see this becoming a favorite instantly. It's so good. All, honestly, all of these products are good. What's happening? Okay, well, we're gonna go in with a blush next cause fuck it, man. I'm just ready to go milk. It's like when you get a bottle of wine or champagne and they open it like this. <laughs> this is the same like stick and this is in the shade Rally. Okay, but look at that. I'm really painting it on my face and it's not giving me too much pigment. It's definitely placing pigment down, but it's not overly applying to where it looks like a 
too intense. I love a day like this where I can find a product that's this, this good right off the bat. So this is a highlighter stick. This is the shade Lit, and this is what it looks like. Very soft. It's an interesting texture. I don't know if you guys can see when I start to rub my finger in it, it really warms up and becomes very balmy in a way. There's not much pigment to it necessarily. It's almost like the highlight is in the tackiness of it catching the light, but I like that look. It's very, very minimalistic. It's not like an overly highlighted look whatsoever, but it does give like a natural sheen, but it does seem like something that's going to stay tacky. So if that drives you nuts, you may not like this. Well, I am really impressed with this milk stuff. I'm gonna look in the mirror and see. I'm gonna give you guys a finish at the end, but like this says it's a matte foundation. I feel like it's more of a satin natural finish foundation. Really high coverage, really pretty. I wonder how this is gonna wear throughout the day. I'm gonna keep giving it a shot and let you guys know. So for Fenty, these kilowatt highlighters, I've used this one a ton. This is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. This is a beautiful highlighter, but I wanna give a different one a chance today because I've given that enough of a run and I wanna just see what else. I can try. I like the way this highlighter looks, but I'm ready to amp this shit up a notch. This looks pretty. I haven't seen this one before. This is the Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. Hmm. That doesn't look like a highlighter at all. Okay, let me try Chic Freak. It's very dark. It's, I would say, best suited for deeper complexion than mine. Um, I'll swatch it and show you. See how it has a really pretty shift, but then it looks deep when you turn your face. This is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I think I'm gonna try Mean Money first because I like the Lightning Dust one of the other Fenty one almost better because it's like such a sheen. It does look, look, look like it's getting a bit cakey over there because there's a lot of product going on with the different milk products. I'll try Hustle Baby. It's got a gold hue to it. I mean, it's really, it's, it's actually quite beautiful. I just feel like with all the base products I have on today, it's not what I need to be wearing. I quite like the way that the highlight looked before I started using these, but that actually is a really beautiful highlight. I don't feel like it's emphasizing too much texture, but a little bit, and it does add that gold hue. So if you really like a good gold highlight, it's not going into trophy wife territory, which is what we've got here. I mean, that is very, very, very yellow gold. Concealer is creasing quite a lot, although I did not powder it. So let me see if it can kind of blend out. Yeah, it did blend out. It doesn't look perfect, but uh, definitely probably would benefit from being set by a little bit of powder. I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera. I'm just gonna do them like really, really basic with the MAC products that I've been using recently. And if you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I do that, I'll link it up here and then I'll be right back. And I'm gonna try the lip products, finish off my eyes, and then I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about this stuff if it wasn't clear already. All right, and that is my brows done. Like literally I did these within maybe one and a half minutes. So they don't look the best, but I actually, this brow looks like how I want my brow to look every day. This one looks like what's, but I'm going to try one of these new Fenty lip colors that I got. Oh wow, I just, that pleases me so much. That little pressed logo in the end. Okay, that's that shade and this is Griselda. This is the shade Madame. Ooh, <gasps> that red though. Oh, she's beautiful. And then this, <gasps> oh Fenty. You just fucked up my pants. This one fell out and it got all over my pants. I am not having luck today with makeup staying in its packaging. I might as well swatch it anyway. That one on the very end closest to my thumb and that is the shade Shoddy. I actually think this is the wrong shade. I kind of want to use that one that spilled all over my pants. I'm mad at you, but you're pretty. These are so creamy. They are very pigmented too. I mean, just one swipe and you are done. I definitely need a lip liner with this. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Versatile Chestnut. I think that would be a good one.
I feel like that was a really good lip liner choice for this. I don't know what color to do. Maybe I'll use these two for my under eyes. I think I'm gonna put some of this color on the inner corner just to see how it works. I mean, like at this point, like there's no point not to. This is Mo Rockin' Ice. Oh, it is very duochrome-y. I thought it was gonna be more just like a white, but it's a very pink shift. My hair looks so stupid, but it's literally 10 p.m. So I'm not about to do my hair. Oh, I forgot to do, okay. I forgot to use this freaking eyeliner. I'm so annoyed about it, but this is the fly liner from Fenty and I really wanted to try this oh wow it gets nice fine lines that's for sure fly liner it's so cool I want to use this in another video for sure so I'm gonna use this in an upcoming first impressions video I just haven't used it today because I forgot that I had it honestly but I'm gonna give you guys my roundup on everything and I'll tell you what I think um so far wow 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 so I'm gonna look at my face up close and let you know I am very impressed with the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. I really did not think that I was going to like that. At first when I applied it, as you guys saw, it was very, very watery and you need to shake the shit out of it because it's going to likely be separated. And I found that I had to really squeeze the tube and roll it around and shake, shake, shake to get it to the point where it wasn't just dripping liquid all down my face. I do like the finish of it though. It's not too matte. I do feel like I could have gone one shade darker, although I do feel like this shade does match well to me. This is again the shade light, but I do feel like I would like one shade darker, although I, I think it works, but it's just not my ultimate favorite. The baked bronzer stick, I'd certainly feel like this is more of a contour stick, very suited for fair skin tones. I feel like this color, specifically for me, is a great contour shade. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's kind of right in the middle. It's almost not, it's not too pigmented to where you're getting like stripes of product on your face. It blended out like a dream, it's very buttery. It seems as though it's gonna be dry in a stick like that. The second you swipe it on, you realize that that is not the case at all. Same with the blush, I feel like it's there, but it didn't overly pigment my face to where I felt like I was, you know, struggling to blend it out. The highlighter is pretty, but it's it's definitely more of a balmy highlight versus something that's got a lot of shimmer to it. I think that a lot of the shine in it comes from it catching the light from it being balmy, but that does leave for a very sweaty, greased chicken look that we know and love. Really like the eyeshadow palette. I think it blended out well. It's got a lot of pigmentation. I think that the colors don't send me crazily. I don't look at this and die over the color combos, but I actually think it's quite beautiful. This color in particular is really stunning. Um, this one is really unique and beautiful. I do feel like you can create nice eye looks out of this. Are they like my ideal palette colors? Not necessarily, but I do think that you can create a multitude of different eye looks with it. Whether you stick with this side over here, you can get a nice, beautiful, warm, over here, much more cool toned, or you can mix all of them like I did today. I do see that the palette separates off nicely in that way where you have a nice blend of warm and cool and it's actually really beautiful. And especially when you do, you know, section it off this way, I can see some really bomb ass eye looks with that. I can see some really bomb ass eye looks there. And as you can see, when you blend the shades together, like the gray actually complemented this really nicely. So I think that it's a pretty eyeshadow palette. I probably wouldn't have purchased this myself. So I'm really thankful Fenty sent it. So thank you so much Fenty for sending this my way. And specifically more than anything, the packaging is so stunning, but it gets very, very dirty. So if that's something that really bothers you, just know that it is that like hard plastic. So it's going to get lots of fingerprints on it, but the packaging itself is so stunning. I really, really love it. And the shadows performed really well. I did initially feel like maybe that first matte shade was a little bit difficult to blend. I don't love the color combo that I chose all that much, but I just wanted to try a bunch of things out and I'm happy with the way it turned out. I do wish I would have gone a little more blue and bold with it, but maybe I'll use it again and stick with the cooler tone side instead. I meant to do that today. I was totally going for a blue eye look and then this happened. So don't ask me how. 
The lashes I would not recommend. I think that you can get far better lashes for a far lower price. I'd say Coco Lashes are my ultimate favorite brand. Queen Bee are a very, very fluffy, beautiful lash. Um, all the ones that are my favorite, like Risqué, Goddess, Demi G, those are all stunning lashes as well that are completely synthetic. So I would just skip out on these lashes altogether given that I definitely had some issues with them falling apart and you have to cut so much of the lash off. It's just a waste in general. The Kilowatt highlighters, I really like those in general, but today I feel like they didn't really enhance my highlight all that much. I think the Milk Stick did that more, but I do like the Kilowatt highlighters. So if you see a color and those that you really like, you're not gonna be disappointed. They are a beautiful formula. The Milk Concealer has actually performed really well. It did start to crease without setting it, whereas some concealers, like if I use the ColourPop No Filter, I may need to blend it out one extra time, but it really doesn't crease throughout the day with, if I don't set it with a powder. This one definitely did crease, although it still looks really nice. I would wear this again for sure, and I think I'm definitely gonna try the Blur Liquid and the concealer again, because I was really impressed with both of them today. Honestly, all the Milk products I tried today, I am like so, so, so impressed by. They really, really performed well. Same with the Fenty ones, dude. Like everything in this was, I feel like a pretty big win for me. The lipstick is really pigmented. One swipe and you are done. However, I was disappointed that that lipstick fell out of the casing all over my pants and really stained the shit out of them. I'm also not a huge fan of this color on me. I think during with a different face of makeup, I might love this. But for me today, I do feel like I look, a, I feel, I feel very pale and I feel like my lips are just too dark. I don't know, I just feel like these kind of lips accentuate the paleness of my skin so much that I feel like these would suit a medium to deep skin tone far better than me. I think that's everything that I tried. Really, was it only Milk and Fenty? Did I use anything else? All right, and so everything was a win. There's nothing that I used today other than the lashes that I feel that disappointed in, other than that milk makeup foundation squirting all over me with water and dripping down my chest. That was an unpleasant feeling and I never want to experience it again. But overall, I feel like all these products performed really well. I like the way the foundation looks and I'm shocked because I'm very picky with foundation. I wonder how this wears throughout the day and I will test that theory throughout the week i'm gonna actually tr if i wear makeup i'm gonna keep wearing the milk makeup stuff because it says matte on it but it's not matte like you can see my forehead i did not set my forehead at all and there's no overly matteness like my nose still has some shine to it it just looks flawless and beautiful thank you milk so much i like milk as a brand too i really want to try the kush mascara i have two of them downstairs i've yet to try it and they just came out with the new kush brow thing damn it i should have tried it in this video i hope you guys liked this video and that it was somewhat helpful for you i will link everything in the description of this video but i'm i'm quite impressed with all of it and i think that um you guys know that i'm really into cream products right now and so all the milk stuff was just right up my alley um and you know fenty never does anything wrong has fenty ever done anything wrong? i don't think it, they ever have the Body Lava. That's the one product I've tried so far from Fenty that I'm just less than impressed with. The Body Lava in general is so stunning. It is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I want to slather my body in it. I just struggle because even, no matter how little I use, no matter how much I buff it in, it stays very sticky. And I've heard that from other people. I watched a couple of reviews and I heard people say that it's very sticky and I was like, I'll be the judge of that. And I tried it on my arm. It's very tacky. I figure if I wear it at the beach, it would stick my skin to all the sand would be stuck to me and I would just be so frustrated that way. If I wore it for a photo shoot, absolutely. But I have other products that look so beautiful too that dry down so it's not a product i think that i could wear on the daily i think the feeling would bother me too much it honestly kind of feels like honey consistency on my skin and maybe i'm using it wrong because i've seen other people say it's sticky but other people use it so i don't know oh and i don't like the pro filter foundation however that is such a personal foundation to people some people love it some people absolutely hate it on my skin because i have very dry textured skin it was no go on me it did not look good so so that one, I would, uh, I'm gonna pass that off. I don't really love that, but everything else from Fenty has been so wonderful. All the face products. As far as recommending any of these to you, I, I say this with every makeup product I've ever used on my channel ever. If you want it and you like the way it looks, go for it. If you don't, 
don't. I think that you guys can see how things work on me and if you have very similar skin to me then that can be like your recommendation but I'm always very like, hesitant to tell people to go out and buy anything because it's your hard earned money and you spend it the way you see fit. Let me know your guys thoughts off everything that I tried or if you guys have tried any of this or if you want me to try anything in the future. I'm obviously going to be doing lots more full face first impressions videos. I got this in PR this week so I need to give this a try. I've got some thoughts on this and I've seen some drama going around on this guy so I definitely want to give that a shot and uh, I thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you have not yet and follow me everywhere also if you want to and uh, I will see you at my next video Bye! Wow uh, you're having a really hard time focusing and don't appreciate it well full face full, mostly full face I hate calling it a full face when there's like one product that's not people are like it's not a full face I'm like you know what, Susan, we know. New box, and this came in my new box. Mm -hmm. Shit, I need to go wet my sponge. BRB, I'm gonna go wet my sponge. So there's definitely, I'm gonna quit fucking talking and I'm just gonna start doing. My husband is playing his game in the next room. He's playing Fortnite or PUBG, one of the two. And he is yelling. I imagine maybe the, 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 the circle closed in. Something, something happened. Shisha smoke. <laughs> Shisha, sh I can't. <laughs> shisha, smoke. I want to say shisha smoke. Shisha smoke. Got all of these names are difficult. Come on, you bitch. Focus. Hi, Duggle Buggle. Hi, Duggle. You gotta get out if you're going to bubble. Mm -hmm. Being a duggle. <laughs> hey. See, I'm a doogie. I'm a little cookie It is so hot in this rain. Hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna go use and I'm gonna go. Mm, I'm not going anywhere. These are the Marilyn that had cat hair all over it the whole time. Like, hopefully you guys can see this. Come on, are you kidding me? Shwing! No. Shwing! Oh wait, one more time. Shwing! <laughs> Hello. Hi, B. Hi, B. What's up? I just wanted to invite you to my house and go to a store and get some snacks and then get some fireworks. I was just going to invite you so you can make sure some fireworks. Are you? At our house. You're lighting off fireworks tonight? Yep. Wow. Thank you. Tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, night. tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll come to your house tomorrow. Thank you for inviting me. It's better not stain these fucking pants, dude. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely, but I love you guys, and I hope you like this video. <laughs> Which I used a little of the other day. <gasps> no! I just dug my fingernail into it when I was opening it. Pool party, that's pool party.